Hi, it's Barton here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use the cryoprobe to help debride an endobronchial tumor. Through the rigid bronchoscope, I use a therapeutic flexible scope, and you see there at the carina, we go to the left main bronchus, and there's an endobronchial tumor completely obstructing the distal left main bronchus. So, first, I'm going to use a loop diathermy, and I'm going to loop it around and use heat energy to resect as much of this as possible. So I loop it around the tumour, apply diathermy heat energy and it will cut through that a big section of that tumour. You can see it just cutting through there and the probe will come free and you can see I can start to move that tumour. Now I'll remove the loop diathermy and I'll get the cryoprobe because the cryoprobe will stick to that tumour and allow me to remove the resected section of the tumour out through the rigid bronchoscope. So I can grab it and oops, a little bit has fallen off. So I've been able to remove a small amount but I'll go back now and retrieve more of it. You can see it's fallen down the right main bronchus. So I can use the cryoprobe once again to use its freezing action to stick to that tissue and remove it through the rigid bronchoscope. And once again, a bit of it fell off and <laughs> remained in the rigid scope. So I'll just grab that again. I'll just freeze for a bit longer this time just to make sure it really sticks. And you can see now I've completely removed a large amount of tumour. The next step is to have a look at the residual tumour. And you can see there's still quite a lot of residual tumour. So I'm going to use the cryoprobe now just to take large pieces of this at a time to try and resect as much as possible. So I've done multiple of these cryodebridements and there's still quite a bit of tumour there although I have removed a large amount of it there's still some more to remove to get patency of the left upper lobe and left lower lobe.